probably had his best start in his last game against the Dodgers. Levon Hernandez, 3-1 and one so far on this campaign. This is his second big league start. He was outstanding early in his last start against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Again, the 1-2 to Guzman. And it's on the inside corner. Strike three goal. And David Brown's one of the whole base hit. So the Mets have the first base runner of the game, a two out single for Wright. When they signed him right before the season. Wright runs and Sheffield takes low. The throw by Bard is not in time. David running first pitch. His 11th stolen base of the year. 0 for 4 last night. And he lines one the other way, a base hit. And for Adam Dunn, that is his 1,000th career base hit. Willingham dumps one into shallow right center for a base hit. And so the Nats have the first two men on in the second inning. And Harris grounds a double play ball to Castillo. Ramon Martinez, the turn, in time for the double play. Have him sit on the bench. He has a play every day. Strikes out on a pitch in on him. And he lines one to left field, a base hit. Chase to the corner by Willingham. Santos running on that sore shin, nonetheless happy as he pulls in at second base with a two out double. 31 year old journeyman. 3 1 to Ramon Martinez, line to right field. That's in for a base hit. And that'll bring home the game's first run. Dunn can't play it cleanly. Martinez to second. Harris recovers it. And Martinez arrives safely at second as Santos scores. 1 0 New York. 55 degrees, wind blowing in from the east tonight. Anderson Hernandez leads off the third inning and grounds one right past Levon and into center field. A leadoff hit for the former men. So the Nats have the leadoff man on for the second straight inning on Friday. Line center field, base hit for Pagan. So after an 0 for 9 stretch, Pagan leads off the home third inning with a base hit. That it's not a serious medical issue that he's dealing with. Pagan runs, barred with the throw, Pagan and safe. Three and two to Castillo, and he takes ball four. So Stammen loses Castillo. The physical gifts combined with the intellect. Ball four, and the bases are loaded for Tatis. Second walk of the inning issued by Stammen. Gets one to shortstop. Guzman can't field it cleanly. Everybody's safe, and a run comes home. Two nothing New York. Give him an RBI his 10th base is still loaded for Fernando Martinez who grounds one down to Nick Johnson gets the out of second Guzman relay not in time and a run comes in. And it's three nothing New York. You have to also say you know we have to protect the players and you know or thought these guys are kind of uh, check they're aggressive they want to play. Fernando Martinez, a guy who's been held back a little bit by injuries the last few years, as uh, the double play grounder hit to short by Willingham. That'll end the inning, 6 4 3 double play. Construct your club, and then over the first two months of the season, you just have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it's. It out. Named after, yeah. Bart drives one to left center field. That's up the gap, and it'll go to the wall. And Josh Bard pulling into second base with a one out double. His third extra base hit of the season. One, two. Grounded toward the middle. Castillo can't knock it down. Bart is slow. He's going to try and score. Pagan with the throw. And Santos reaches to it. Now he does. And he's out. The second try by Santos got Bard, who had missed home plate after Santos missed the tag. But Santos stayed on him. And Bard is out at the plate. Swing and a miss, and Wright is struck out. That's the second of the night for Craig Stammen. Dunn lifts one to left field, deep toward the corner, looking up at Sheffield, and it's out of here. Adam Dunn with an opposite field home run, his 15th of the year, and that breaks up the shutout. It's now 3-1 to one New York. It's only the second opposite field home run to be hit here at City Field. Nick Johnson hit one of the Nats' first series here. And now Dunn does the trick. Third of the lead. 2-2 to Willingham. Slow curve. Got him. 63 miles an hour on that Bugs Bunny curve ball. Fourth strikeout for Levon. One away. Sheffield's hard smash to Zimmerman has been changed to a hit. Castillo up the middle. Guzman with a nice spinning stop to throw. Not in time. 
there was a time when Levon, when nobody else was doing it, was throwing 130, 140 pitches a game. Right, hooks one through the hole, a base hit. And David has his second hit of the night. 1-1. One, one. Lock it to left field. Back goes Willingham looking up, and it's out of here! Gary Sheffield with a three-run homer for the second straight night. A bullet. It's too good to have the career he's had, but injuries have to fall on him. And he strikes out Fernando Martinez on three pitches for the first out of the inning. That he doesn't want to take that play for granted. In there for a call strike three. Anderson Hernandez down looking. Five strikeouts for Levon Hernandez. Just three hits in his last 20 at bats. And he drives one to right field. That's going to be over Pagan and into the Mozo. Streaking for third is Maxwell. He'll be held up there. And pulling in at second is Guzman with a long double to right. And all of a sudden, the Nats have second and third and one out. Again, the 3 2. In there for a call strike three. Got him looking at the slider. And so Tavares gets right to end the inning. 1 2 to Willingham. Hit toward the whole base hit. And the Nats have their ninth hit of the game off Levon. 3 2. In there for a call strike three. And the ball game is over. Levon Hernandez with his 46th career complete game. The first by a Mets starter in 2009. It took him 127 pitches. He scatters nine hits and leads the Mets to a 6-1 to win.